Hi everybody, I'm really excited to be involved in this Visibility Week and to be doing some tapping with you on Wednesday. Um, I just wanted to really introduce myself, introduce how I got into EFT and explain a little bit about EFT and explain what we're going to be doing on Wednesday and what we need to do before. Um, so um, I've been coaching since I qualified six years ago um, and I've used lots of different techniques as you do um, but it wasn't until I found EFT that I found the real you know shifts in um, many areas of my life it, it helped me to reduce stress it helped me to invest in myself charge my worth it helped me with fears of visibility which is a big one I'm going to obviously come on to in a minute and self-worth and confidence in myself to go out there and do what I want to do so invest in myself it, it kind of I basically um, invested in a, a coach that um, was about a quarter of my annual salary so it allowed me to do that and I tapped on the fear of that and the issues that came up around that in order to help me to move forward with it charge my worth originally I didn't even want to um, charge anything and they kept giving free stuff away and stuff like that and you know along with my coach as well as my EFT it really helped me to shift um, my, my mindset around that as well and then visibility was about right from the beginning it was even about commenting on a post was a bit scary commenting on a live video was a bit scary because especially if the person then replied or said hello to you and then posting and then the videos themselves took quite a while. I said to my coach that um, I was going to do the videos that took quite a while. And then lives again as another, the next level really. Um, so those are the things that I kind of had to work through. And it was really about fears of um, criticism, fears of judgment, fears of, um, I'm not, I'm a, is it going to be good enough? Am I good enough? All sorts of things like that. When you're putting something out there, um, it can sometimes feel vulnerable. But often what it is, is there's often fears or beliefs behind those fears. And that's the sort of thing that I now work with my clients with, which is with the EFT, which is looking at those limiting beliefs and those fears behind um, what's holding you back because sometimes you can think it's something and it can be something else so you might think it's just that um, you've never done it before and of course when you do something new it's going to be a bit scary because you haven't got that reference to say I can do this you haven't got that reference to say that I am capable of doing this so you're going to be it's going to be a bit scary to go out there and do something new but the irony is that we all sort of want to go out there and do these things and we want them to be perfect and nobody is perfect first time so the only way to get better at it is to go out there and, and do it so that's the sort of thing and um, that I sort of look look into um, but basically yeah around visibility that's that was my situation and when I um, niched um, to mindset and um, um, launched online at the beginning of last year um, that's when I then began to see that when my clients were coming to me they were they, was, they were actually coming to me with these similar issues so that's why I specialized in um, money blocks and visibility and um, self-worth and self-worth is often tied into visibility because it is about am I good enough and fears of what other people think and criticism and stuff like that so what we're going to do on Wednesday is we're going to do a tapping um, script. Now, when you do the tapping, it helps you to release, acknowledge, release, and really um, reduces that emotional intensity and um, attachment to the issue so that you can let go of it. And so that when you've let go of it, then you can put that positive stuff on top. Sometimes you can try and put positive stuff on. And what the EFT does is it gets rid of the underlying issue. And as I said, reduces the emotional intensity and attachment to the issue. So it gets out the way so that it's easier to accept that positive and easier for that positive um, to, to stay there. So that's in my experience. So it is what what is EFT? Well, it's a called emotional freedom technique and it is also called tapping and also being called a needleless acupuncture because it 
taps on certain meridian points. And that's what we're going to be doing on Wednesday. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out and ask you some questions before then, which I'm going to explain a bit more detail in a minute about what is it um, about visibility and looking behind it. Because the first process or first stage, what I do with the EFT is finding out exactly what it is that's holding you back. Because sometimes you can think it's a certain belief and then in the end, it ends up being something underneath and under underlined that you might not have thought of initially. And sometimes as well, we don't always... Um, think logically our beliefs if you like so for example like when i've worked with money blocks for example um somebody could think that if you um people who earn money are greedy or you can't help people and earn lots of money or you know these sorts of things and people will probably say logically i know that's not true but if your subconscious is thinking those things and the same with visibility like if i and put this video out there then you know people are going to criticize me or it's not going to be good enough or i'm going to look stupid or whatever you think when you want to be visible then even if you know that logically the way or logically it'll be okay if you've got that subconscious um belief behind it then you're going to end up um sort of that's going to affect your actions that's going to affect your results that's going to affect what you do so yeah, so we collect that information, find out what it is under, underlying, what are your thoughts and your beliefs around visibility. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next day or two, is collecting that information from you. Because the more specific you are, the more effective it will be for you. So if you give me that information, then, then I can ask further information about it. Then that information will go into the tapping and we'll tap on that. And that's called the um some people call it a negative tapping but other people call it a truth tapping and that part is really to acknowledge and release that like i say so you can then put the positive on top and then the affirmations are what's going to be the opposite of that or the um the ideal the things that you really want to do i'm sure you're all aware of what affirmation is but we use and tap you know use the negative truth tapping to flip and then turn it into the positive affirmations and tap on that. So that's sort of the, the way it goes. So a little bit more about EFT. Um, you tap on each point um, five to seven times. So if you're looking at sort of like, this is one point, which is um, just to show you, just at the eyebrow there. And then you've got a point at the side. I'll just move my glasses at the side of your eye. I'm going to take them off just there. And then under there, in the middle on that bone there and then um in that bit there and that bit there we normally do it with two fingers by the way because the meridian points on there as well and then on the collarbone which is um if you think where your collarbone is where it joins up there and then it's sort of about there but don't worry about it too much it doesn't really matter if you're not exactly on the point you know you can tap like that and then under the arm which is normally on the bra strap of a woman so it's around that sort of area again it doesn't matter if you're a, a exact and then the top of the head and sometimes people go around like that make sure you get all the meridians on your head there's quite a few and then tap like that okay so we go through those points and then the one that we start with is the karate chop point so if you look at the edge of your hand like that on that bit of your palm there and we're tapping on the edge of there and that's the one that we start with um and then when you go through i just put my glass back on um and then when you go through that then what you're doing is you're repeating after me so i will have collected all of the truth tapping from you all i'll be repeat i'll be saying that doing the tapping on wednesday and then you will repeat that after me and then the second part of created the affirmations based on what you've said and then we'll tap on those as well and you should see a real shift in this, especially with videos and things like that. I've had clients just go straight away and do a video straight, you know, straight after they've done this tap and released whatever it is. Um, but sometimes, you know, there can, if there's sort of self-worth things, it can take a little bit longer and it's like peel on an onion, but they can, you know, you do get great results. So at the beginning of the session, uh, tapping, tapping part or whatever tap uh, EFT session, you rate the intensity of the issue. So if your fear of visibility is how how 
bad is that fear out of 10? So at the beginning, you always rate that. So 10 out of 10 means that your fear is absolutely maximum. Okay, so 0 out of 10 means, you know, I'm not really bothered. And what you can find is that if people are normally like 8, 9, 10 at the beginning of a session, then what happens is then by 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. You know, but you always get a shift within a session. And what will happen is, like, if you're down at sort of a one, two, or that sort of end, especially a zero, then you'll end up going from that intensity of fear or whatever it is that you're tapping on. And then at the end of the zero, you'll kind of be like, yeah, I'm not really bothered about it, maybe, if you get down to a zero. So, yeah, so hope, in, you know, every single session, everybody's had a shift, so you will get a shift. Um, but how big that shift is depends on on the issue itself. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put some questions in the group of what I want you to answer. Um, so if you could do that, as I said, it is better for you if it's specific as you can. I can do a general tapping, um, which can help, but it is better for you to be as specific as you can. If you want to put it in the comments, you can do. But if you don't want people to know what you're saying, then just private message me and I will include it in the in the tapping without obviously then saying who it is or whatever but it'll still help you obviously <coughs> okay so yeah so and then I'll ask further question just to dig a little bit deeper because if you can get a little bit more information the more specific you are the more the more effective it will be okay so that's what we're going to do um i'll put that post in probably tomorrow um then you can answer those questions and then on wednesday evening um i'll confirm the time but wednesday evening we'll be doing the tapping live okay so i look forward to that and i'll speak to you all soon okay bye